Now to the threats made against Florida's Attorney General. Detectives say Attorney General Pam Bondi managed to escape any run-ins with the Orange County worker. But we found out he warned her not to find him. He says she would have paid with her life. News 6's Eric Sandoval is live at the Florida Department of Law Enforcement tonight. Eric? Yeah, Matt, this man, Kevin Cunningham, told investigators here at FDLE that he was angry at Attorney General Pam Bondi over what he called her anti-gay views. He said the shooting happened at the Pulse nightclub. His anger got worse. He said he saw her on TV this week at the Republican National Convention, and that is when his anger just boiled over. FDLE investigators tell News 6 they were tipped off about 51-year-old Kevin John Cunningham and his loathing of Attorney General Pam Bondi on Thursday. They say that's when Cunningham decided to use his Orange County workplace computer to send a scathing complaint using this online form. He told Bondi she needed to resign. She's accepting bribes and she no longer is welcome in the city of Orlando. But it got worse. He wrote, if I ever see you in person, I'll rid the state of a corrupt expletive with any means I have, firearms, knives, or my bare hands. Cunningham says he blamed Bondi for the massacre at the Pulse nightclub. He claims if it weren't for her anti-gay rhetoric, the shootings may not have happened. Cunningham told investigators seeing Bondi speak at the Republican National Convention this week is what pushed him over the edge. FDLE agents arrested him at work and booked him in the Orange County Jail, where he's already posted bond. And you know what makes this even more frightening is the fact that he told investigators that he had guns, specifically a long gun. We found out that he is on unpaid leave from his job at the Orange County Administrative Building. We're working right now to see if he's going to keep that job or not. We're live at FDLE headquarters in Orlando tonight. Eric Sandoval. New six, Matt. All right, Eric, thank you.